Sorry, honey. Thought I'd find you. Oh, leave us alone. What? What, I can't talk to my wife? I'm not your wife anymore. No? Sugar, this ring a bell? Till death do us part? Do you remember that? What do you think I'm doing? I'm coming home from a hard day at the office, right? God bless the working stick! Stole it from me, honey. But you're worried that I didn't take it anymore. Listen, please. You've got to stop this. You need help. You're sick. Sick. Was he sick? Take a walk around this town, that's sick. You ain't kids. Would you believe it that I used to fish right here? This very spot? I would tell you don't eat the fish, it's poisonous. <laughs> you can't even swim in the water. It'll give you some kind of bacterial infection. Uh, so, how's that for sick? I'm having a private moment with my family. We'd like to be left alone. I'm leaving soon. I'm retiring to Arizona, Lake Havasu City. You ever been there? That's not what I mean. They call it a lake, but it's really just a big bowl of muddy water. But the wife, the wife thinks it's paradise. <laughs> Everybody has their own idea of what they think paradise is. <laughs> Take me, for instance. You know what I thought paradise was? What? If you'll excuse me. Making babies. <laughs> Ain't that a kick? <laughs> Making babies. <laughs> That's your little girl? Beautiful. Beautiful. She's special. Yeah. Nice. You know, my wife never was cut out for brother. She did it all for me, see? Went through all that pain, lost her figure, all for me. Then the kid went to sleep one night, never woke up. Called it infant death syndrome. But she wasn't an infant. It was very strange, because she was two years old. She was a big girl. She was our baby. Hey, darling, this is for you. Here you go. There you go. What can you do? <laughs> See, she's been hit by a drunk driver, hey, but, you know, who do you blame when they just don't wake up? Who? Guys like you always say you don't know what you're going to do until you do it. I think you know exactly what you were going to do. You were going to kill your wife and child. No. Yeah. And then you knew it would be too late to turn back. It would be real easy to turn the gun around on yourself. Now, let's go meet some nice policemen. They're good guys. Come on, let's go. I'm the bad guy? Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? I did everything they told me to. Did you know I build missiles? Yeah. I help to protect America? You should be rewarded for that. So they give it to the plastic surgeon. You know, they lied to me. Is that what this is about? You're angry because you got lied to? 
Is that why my chicken dinner's drying out in the oven? Hey, they lie to everybody. They lie to the fish. But that doesn't give you any special right to do what you did today. The only thing that makes you special is that little girl. Now, let's go. Let's go! It was hot today, wasn't it? You know, I got a gun. I got lots of guns. Stay there. Don't move. You want to draw? Let's not. Let's call it a day. Oh, come on. It's perfect. Showdown between the sheriff and the bad guy. It's beautiful. On three. This doesn't have to be the end, Bill. You have a choice. See, my little girl is dead. I don't have a choice. You have a choice. No, you have two choices. I can kill you, or you can kill me, and my little girl can get the insurance. One. Don't you want to see her grow up? Behind bars. Don't do this, please. Let's go! I would have got you. Thank you.